What's up everybody? Your girl Paris here for a little mini movement session to get our bodies a little bit more open. And today's focus is on the ribs and the power that lives in the ribs. And of course, because it's like the home of our heart. So we always start with the heart. And before I walk you through a couple of exercises to get your heart and your ribs more open and expanded, I want to check in with how it is that you're holding your ribs as you watch this video. Notice where they are in space. We have a collective pattern because everyone is engaging in technology to be dropping the front of the ribs. And this is exaggerated when I like drop here, but op oftentimes it's not really exaggerated for a lot of people. So it can either be like to this degree, you know, think about like you on your phone or a tablet or a computer dropping the front of the ribs, or can even just be like here, you know, just noticing like a little drop, which can have significant impact on our emotional well-being and our physical well-being if we repeat this over and over and over and over, if we're in this posture for like hours at a time because like you're on your phone for that long or whatever. So if we're dropping the front of the ribs, um, then we're disengaging from the double S curve of the spine, I'm sort of rounding myself into a C curve here. And that can just feel really emotionally stagnating over time and create dense, tight tissue here in our back and our belly and our shoulders. So we want to lift the rib cage as a whole unit. And I am going to show you how. First and foremost, as we begin to lift the ribs, this is going to significantly impact our posture. And our posture has impacting how it is that we feel emotionally in our bodies. It is impacting how it is that we see ourselves and how other people see us. So we want the rib cage to be really broad, expanded because it's a naturally round place in our body and you can even touch the sides of your ribs, the back and the front of your ribs to feel how round and spherically shaped the ribs are. And we wanna cultivate that roundedness. And as we broaden through the ribs, then we're gonna invite the ribs to lift. And as they lift, the hips then draw back and can root and we can plug into that double S curve of our spine that is so enthusiastically healing for our bodies, our physical bodies and our emotional body. So let's get to it. This will be a few minute exercise and I wanna invite you into a standing position, please, if that feels right to you. And um, step your feet a little bit wider than your hips with your toes pointing forward and bring just a soft little bend into your knees. Take your hands to the sides of your ribs and pause here holding the sides of your ribs and take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose with the intention of pushing your ribs wide into your hands. So using the hands to feel for feedback of your breath as your ribs broaden, filling up the side ribs. Really lowering your breath into their most bottom place of the ribs. Long, slow, deep breaths in and out of your nose and exhale, release. We want to keep the energy of the sides of the ribs expanding like gills of a fish. Now, please give yourself a great big hug, wrapping one arm on top of the other and walking your fingers back behind your shoulders. And as the sides of the ribs continue to broaden, now we're gonna fill the back heart. Take a breath there as the scapula blades, your shoulder blades pull wide of the spine. Now, still holding yourself, begin to lift your ribs as you bring a soft little bend into your knees. Lift your ribs again, and we're gonna take an arc to the left. Reach your right ribs towards the sky. Bend your knees and sit your hips back. Lift your right ribs as you arc over your left shoulder. 
focus on lifting the ribs and then taking a small arc. Big deep breath, side ribs moving wide, even through the left side for three, two, one, inhale, lift the ribs back to center, release your hands to your side and just take a moment and feel your right side compared to your left side. Notice if there's any difference. Even if it's subtle, notice it. Lift your arms, give yourself a hug with the opposite arm crossed on top. This is to help accentuate the fullness of the back of the heart. Broaden the sides of your ribs as you lift your ribs, lift your heart and then arc to the right. Sit your left hip back. Lift your left ribs towards the sky. Relax your trapezius muscles as you lift the ribs again and take a small arc for three, two, big breath in through the nose, out through the nose, and one, lift your ribs back to center. Beautiful, lift your arms forward, up and out. In the front plane of your body, fold your fingers in, Cross your right wrist over your left and bend your elbows out to the side. With 2% of uh, resistance, push your wrists into each other as you begin to lift and arc your ribs to the left. Bend your knees and sit back into an imaginary chair, then extend through the legs as the right ribs elevate. Take three more pulses. The idea is we want more space to come into the waistline as the ribs lift and the hips root. Sit both of the hips back, reaching right ribs towards the sky, lift to center, switch out the cross of your wrists. Begin to arc the ribs to the right. The wrists gently push into each other, only like 2% of your effort to help open the left side of the rib cage, sit the bum back, Reach the ribs high, three, two, one. It's a good day to be alive. Go ahead and lift your arms towards the sky, a gentle sway, allowing your breath to move all the way to the bottom parts of your ribs and it's the bottom ribs that are lifting. Now relax your trapezius muscles. Lower your hands by your side. Give yourself an internal smile as we open and elevate the ribs. So just quickly, if we're dropping our ribs, the front of the ribs down most of the day, then this is the natural posture that we take when we're depressed, sad, and in fear. And that's okay to be in those places and it's okay to be in this posture. It's actually really valuable when we're feeling those things. However, we just don't wanna get stuck there. So to begin to significantly impact our mood, we lift the ribs, not just protrude the chest forward, keep the back heart full and it's the rib cage lifting as a unit and that brings more health to our shoulders, neck, hips, everything, everything. The ribs touch everything. So we want to move forward with those qualities. So just a quick review, side ribs are moving wide, expanding like a big balloon. Then the back heart stays full. So we don't wanna just collapse the shoulders on the back. We want the back heart to stay full to embody that thoracic spinal curve. Step three is the whole rib cage lifting as a unit, broadening through the collarbones, broadening through the back of the heart. I invite you to play around with this. Really feel it out. There is so much healing that happens when we begin to tune into the posture of our ribs and how it is that the ribs are um, supporting the health of our body when we do lift them. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that you got something out of this. Notice how it is that you feel after doing these little exercises versus before, maybe go back and do the exercises again to see it and see if there's a subtle or a profound shift in your energy. Um, I would love to hear if there is or isn't. I always love hearing people's feedback and I hope this has served you. From my radiant heart to your radiant heart, many blessings.